Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So now I'm going to show you how to build a chatbot just in five lines of code using Python and this is powered by AI. So now I'm going to do this by integrating this with OpenAI. Now you may get a question. So if OpenAI integration, then why should we have to go for a customization? Directly OpenAI provides chat GPT. We can directly use it, right? Okay, I'll give you the answer for this. So OpenAI provides chatbot as a service. So we have to use it for customizing it for our own use cases for our own company. So that is the reason we are doing it on our own customization. So customization also gives you a lot of advantages like you can fine tune it and for security reason and for vulnerability threats, you can able to safeguard the application. And again, like you can monitor the user and the usage and the resource utilization for the building. So these are all the some of the advantage why we are going for the customization. Okay, now let's get into the video to see completely practical. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a GitHub repository called Embed Chain. So this Embed Chain is the Python package which we need to install to do this chatbot. So this Embed Chain is internally integrated with the open AI platform. Fine. So now this embed chain is like you can by using this embed chain, you can create a customized chatbot and you can start feeding your input data to train the model. And upon the model training, you will be getting the output from the embed chain. Fine. So now I'll show you the customization and all those stuff. Before that, since we are going to connect this with open AI, we need an open AI API key. Okay. And this key needs to be get generated and this generating the key is not for free. You have to pay for it. So based on the usage, you have to pay for it. So it, it, it has a trial. So you can use trial version, but still you have to pay $5. Okay. So I just paid for this. Uh, open AI to generate a key. So I just paid $5 and then so far I've used this much. So now uh, here you can see uh, under API keys. So you have to go for this website platform.openai.com and then just go to your username and then just uh, click view API keys. So you will be getting this page. So here you can create new api key just give some name and then you create it you will be getting a key you have to copy that key and then just close this fine so now this is something as i told you you have to pay and get it so with this key only we can able to integrate with the open ai we can use the open ai service from the embed chain so embed chain is doing all the work whatever it is required to build a customized chatbot so we are just using it by integrating uh, the embed chain with open ai with the api key reference Fine. So let me show you the code here. So now I just imported the embed chain and then I'm just giving my key here. Okay. So like that you have to have your own key and very important. You should not share this key to anyone. Fine. Now you can see here. So I have to train my model, right? So, so I'm just creating a chatbot for my purpose, for my company. And then it's related to a topic. Now imagine I'm just going to create a chatbot only for banking and investment. Now my employees or whomever it is, they you, they have to use the chatbot only for asking questions related to banking and investment. They should not ask any other questions like they ask with chat GPT, right? So that is the reason and the agenda that why I'm creating a customized chatbot. So to do that, I have to create a limitation, right? So now to my chatbot that I'm building, I have to feed data related to banking Banking and investment only. So how can we feed the data? It's not like you extract the data and may create a file and pass it. No, you don't want to go that way. You can pass web pages and then PDF files and then you can pass a YouTube video also. Now you can see here, I'm just creating alanbot.ad. So now here I'm going to build a chatbot uh, to get the information only about Elon Musk. Okay. So this is an example which is available in embed chain. So I just used it fine. So now I'm just doing Elon underscore bot dot add web page. I'm just giving the Wikipedia page of Elon Musk and then I'm Tesla site about Elon Musk. I'm giving that page and a YouTube video, which actually about explains about the Elon Musk work. So with this information only the employees who are work for my company, they can use my chatbot. Okay. Now I'm just creating an query. I'm just doing it in the in the code itself so you can build a ui kind of thing you can do and you can make use of it like a responsive text box button something like that so response equal to alan bot dot query how many m companies does alan musk run so now i'm just going to print the response now i'll just run this code Okay, so now we got the output. So Elon Musk run four companies, Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink and the boring company. Fine. So now I'll try to ask something not related to this data what I have feed it. So what I'll do, I'll just remove this. Who is the Indian 
prime minister okay so this is my question so now i'll run this okay now if you see here i am sorry but i don't have the answer to your query the reason is the data what i have feeded it has information only about elon musk right and whatever the page has for example if you take this wikipedia page right it also has information about facebook ceo so if you type something about facebook ceo also you will be getting the answer because that wiki page has it that's the reason now this particular uh, question who is indian prime minister so there is no such content related to this question with the data what i have feeded so this is one of the advantage of why we are creating and customized chatbot with existing service provided by open ai so thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel and i provide lot of videos in big data cloud computing ai data science and so many stuffs in my channel just have a look and